Does yeast matter when making alcohol? Let's find out. For thousands of years, humans have used yeast to ferment honey into an alcoholic beverage called mead. I'm on a mission to test four different yeast using the exact same recipe to compare the speed of alcohol production and the taste of the final product. To do this, we need to start by making one single batch, and I'm keeping this recipe simple with water, honey, and a standard dose of nutrients. Making one homogenous batch will ensure that when we divide it up, each of the jars is the exact same, so we can be confident that any differences we may observe are solely due to the different yeasts. The strains I chose are four of the most commonly used among homebrewers, each of which have had great results with individually. In order to activate the yeast, I'm following the packet instructions. They're each being hydrated with warm water and resting for 20 minutes before being added to each of these respective jars. So far, they all look to be similar in terms of consistency, but the question is, how will they behave? Now we need to give them each a quick mix and get a benchmark hydrometer reading. Each sample should have the same starting value, which in this case is 1.074. This is testing the initial sugar content, also known as the gravity. And by recording this value incrementally, you can observe how much sugar is converted into alcohol over time. I plan to test these weekly until they have all completely finished fermenting, and this data should give us a good idea as to the speed and strength for which these yeasts can achieve under this specific set of conditions. Of course, we'll do some sensory testing to compare the flavor as well. Make sure to come back to see the final results.